Mike, obviously with the short week ahead, I guess how big was it to you know get that early lead and, and give some of those starters a chance to, to sit in the fourth quarter? <clears throat> I thought it was good. I thought it was good we started fast both halves. Um, and so it's, I thought that part was good. You know, we were here to take care of our business, and we did. <clears throat> um, and so I thought most of it was uh, bright spots. Uh, uh, only negative I saw and when you throw out a bunch of young uh, guys that don't play a lot. Um, it's always a little scattered and disorganized, but you know, some of those guys need to focus on giving us reasons to play them rather than not to. And uh, so there was a little bit of that, and there was some sloppiness, but um, I did think at key times we were ready to play, and I thought it executed uh, pretty good overall. Steve? Coach, when you have a game like this, when you maybe hope to, to get down the depth chart a little bit, how, how do you kind of manage that? Is it a kind of a fly by the seat of your pants deal, or is there an organizational chart? I mean, how do you kind of plan to manage that? <coughs> Every time I've tried to do it specifically, plan ahead, it's been an unmitigated disaster. The best way, I think, is uh, go out there, play the game, play the best you can, try to improve as a <clears throat> as a player and as a team, and then uh, uh, when and if uh, some opportunity like that manifests itself, then <clears throat> go ahead and do it. Coach uh, Manuel Forbes uh, set the FBS and the SEC record for career pick sixes. What was your assessment of his performance today? He set the FBS one too. Huh? It was good. It was very impressive. As a matter of fact, we gave him the game ball, and uh, he's an explosive, inspiring guy, and needs to keep up the good work. John, Mike uh, Will's at the 32 touchdowns on the year now. Obviously, in the off season, he had that NIL deal with the company where every touchdown he threw, a thousand dollars was donated to Make a Wish. So. Thirty-two thousand dollars going to Make a Wish, Mississippi. What does that kind of say about the character of him as a quarterback, and what have you kind of noticed about him behind closed doors that some of us might not see about his character? Uh, he's a high character guy. I mean, he cares a great deal about football and his teammates, and I think that's key. I mean, as far as a bunch of NIL deals and nuances and fine print on that, I'm not going to get into any of that. But uh, uh, now he's a generous, giving guy, and. Uh, no, that surprises me at all. Joel? Obviously, for the game, a lot of the, your seniors were recognized in uh, the last three years as you've uh, been here at Mississippi State. Just how big has it been to have guys like Austin Williams and Buki and Cam Young and a lot of those guys that got honored today just to kind of start setting us the standard for this program and things under you? No, I think it's big. I mean, it, I think it's big, and it's a big deal, and, and certainly uh, there's a lot of people uh, – down the road that may not realize it yet that are going to definitely be benefactors of the efforts of those guys and so um, you know and the more they realize it uh, you know the better example than uh, the, those guys that follow can be for the guys down the road. Steve. Coach, I know we just wrapped up a ball game, but you got another one coming up here in a few days. I mean, you know, so what, what's kind of the your calendar look like? How will the, the work week kind of look uh, as you get ready to head to Oxford for the battle for the Golden Egg? <clears throat> we'll get this one uh, passed us, get on the uh, game plan for the next one, and uh, <clears throat> then start practicing. You lose a day, but uh, uh, so we'll shorten, um, we'll shorten uh, the overall length of uh, each day and then just uh, spread it out uh, kind of an extra day that, you know, like the Fridays usually kind of a, <clears throat> a walk through. It would probably be a little more than a walk through, but still less than a practice. Yeah. Mike, this will be your third Egg Bowl since coming to Mississippi State, I guess. What have you learned about uh, how fans kind of think of the rivalry uh, in your time here? And on top of that, I guess, how important is it to, to finally get a win uh, since you got here? Uh, we're just excited to play the game. I mean, the biggest thing is you just, you know, focus on doing the best you can and being the best team you can be and leave it at that. I mean, otherwise, if you distract yourself with a bunch of other stuff, you're not going to help, uh, you're not going to help your approach. You're not going to help what you're trying to do. I mean, you just 
then go out there, lock in, and try to try to improve, try to get better that week, try to be the best team you can be. Chrissy. A lot of good stuff from Tulip Griffith today. What did you see out of him? What have you seen out of him lately in practice? I think he's progressively gotten better. I think he had a good day today. It was good to see him score. Uh, he's an explosive guy, and then, uh, but it's good to see him in the end zone more. And I kind of thought he was a little overdue on that, and so the, the, uh, that part was good. John, you, you kind of touched on this a little earlier, but what kind of improvements did you see from your team today that you think can be translated <coughs> to you know the eight ball in future games this year in terms of taking a step forward? I thought we had a good focused week this week. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Coach.